Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Simon Anderson from Simon TV. I'm standing outside Auckland District Court with Linda Sutton. Uh, Mrs Sutton has been attending the latest hearing in the Aliana Rabashkin uh, trial. Aliana Rabashkin was accused of assaulting Posey Parker and another person at the Let Women Speak conference held in Auckland last year. Good afternoon, Mrs Sutton. Good afternoon, Simon. You attended today's hearing. Uh, I understand that Rubashkin's presence was excused, but he attended anyway. Okay, so on the 26th of October, uh, when this was set down for trial, judge alone trial, uh, Rubashkin Goldstein was excused from appearing in court, but not excused from video conferencing. So that was allowed. And so that rolled over to this pre-trial hearing today. Rubashkin has been in the media and being interviewed for the last 12 months, uh, claiming that he would uh, plead innocent, and he has. But I understand that's changed. What has happened? Okay, so this, this morning, um, the uh, plea of guilty was entered by Eliana Goldberstein to the two charges of assault at the Let Women Speak event on the 25th of March last year, sorry. Okay, so that's that's quite a change that he's now admitting it. Is, is he, is he uh, accepting the consequences or is he looking for a discharge? What What's the plan for the defence? So uh, it was a very short hearing. Uh, the enter of guilty was accepted by the judge, Judge Ryan, and uh, uh, Ols James Olson, her barrister, said he was going to apply for discharge without conviction. Wow, that's quite incredible. You would think that for such a high profile uh, offence against an international speaker, that the chances of obtaining a discharge without conviction for two separate assaults would be rather limited, would you think? Well, the judge said uh, that it wasn't her that would be deciding what the penalty would be for this guilty um, verdict. It would be another judge. And um, a new summary of facts has been entered in against that plea of guilty, which has been given, allowed to be given to the press. And there were three press in the gallery today who applied for the summary of facts. And James Olson said he had no objection as long as the summary of facts was presented to the public in its entirety and not edited or cherry picked in any way to create a narrative. Well, I think that uh, creating narratives is more his job than it is perhaps the media's. All right. So uh, when is the sentencing date being set for? The 2nd of September at 3. One moment. 2nd of September at 3.45. Well, wow. okay, all right. Well, that is, uh, that's, that's quite um, an event in the sorry saga, and it's, it's astonishing that it's taken the New Zealand legal system so long to get here. Mrs Sutton, before we finish, is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, yes, I would um, like to say that I did actually approach James Olsen as he left the courthouse and asked him if the public would also be granted the ability to see the summary of facts. Uh, James obviously was very frightened of me because he immediately put his head down and scuttled off up, up the road. But I would encourage everyone to apply for the summary of facts on this. Um, I don't know how to, but we shall find out. Also, I'm really, really disturbed by the fact that someone can be um, charged with two counts of assault, have their court dates moved many, many times, then have the privilege of not even having to come into a courtroom and face the judge, plead guilty, and then ask for a discharge without conviction. I think it's disgraceful, and um, I'm hoping that that will be rejected, and I will be in court on the 2nd of September to hear what that will be. Good for you, Mrs Sutton, and you're right. It's a sorry indictment of the New Zealand legal system that someone can play 
the system to that extent and yet is still uh, has the very real possibility of being discharged without conviction. Mrs Sutton, thank you very much for your time today. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we finish? Yes, I would like to say that as a member of the public in our open and honest system, in order for me to find out that this case was happening on this day at this time, took many phone calls and it was actually a slip of the tongue. This date was not divulged publicly all but for one phone call. Thank you for your time, Mrs Sutton. You have a lovely day. Thank you, Simon.